challenging to write all this music. It was challenging to write the string quartet on a deadline without getting to workshop it. It was challenging just technically putting everybody in the same place at the same time. People were actually calling each other to make sure that everybody was on the same page. And I think that that's an amazing team spirit. And it's really showed when we had that first rehearsal because everybody was so focused and so ready. Um, and it was really, really good After the first few measures, I could feel joy and fascination and excitement because they'd prepared so well and were just adding so much to the music right from the start. I knew I was in for something, but it was also this amazing adventure that was in front of me. Kind of like classical music, talking to jazz, talking to Danko, talking to Valkin. It made it really, really unique. It was kind of a dare. <laughs> dare I do this? And I was like, well, he dared write it for me, so. I kept it pretty close to a traditional overall form in that there's a you know, introductory first movement that's got flashy elements and then a slower second movement and then a longer, more extended third movement that uh, is even more challenging than the first. <laughs> well, I have to say that this piece pretty much required every single experience that I had in my life to be able to perform every aspect of it and it even got me to learn more about certain aspects because it was definitely the one that pushed my limits the most. Also in combination with all these different elements from classical training, you know, really hard technical passages, rhythmical aspects as well, um, ensemble playing and the jazz, you know, aspect of, of playing as well in certain complex forms and harmonies that, you know, might be more reminiscent of saxophone <laughs> sometimes, which I was not used to as much and um, definitely pushed me to go beyond my comfort zone. With the Molinari's, they really did an amazing job. They just got really inside it. Every time they were interpreting it differently, which had this really beautiful improvised kind of feel to it, which was what I was going for with the piece, and I didn't have to talk about that at all. They really just captured the essence of the, of the piece. And so each movement uh, was a feature for each member of the quartet. So the first movement featured the second violin, the second movement featured the viola, third movement cello, and then for the final movement, the first violin got to take it. The title piece, Pivotal Arc, was inspired by, I was reading an article in the New York Times going into detail about how we're at a very pivotal point with climate change and that they had graphed out several different arcs of what the different degrees of warming and how that would affect uh, the world in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. With so many different projects through the years um, and as Quinson said, it's it's really fascinating to see both of us evolve musically in, in our careers, but also as a person and with everything, you know, uh, happening in our lives and the support that we can give each other is also very important and I think that comes through in the music itself in the way that it's written or, or performed I think there's uh, that respect and that friendship for sure it comes out yeah. I want to say a huge thank you to David Traver Smith who was involved in Magic Numbers in the first recording and every subsequent album that I've done or project I've done. This is my third album for Whirlwind Recordings and they've been really great getting behind it. So we thank them a lot. And also he talked us into doing a vinyl run, green vinyl, so it'd be pretty, pretty amazing. On Path of Totality, the last record I did for Whirlwind Recordings, uh, I commissioned six filmmakers and one of them was Udo Prinsen, a Dutch uh, animator and filmmaker. He was doing a project at the time that uh, involved taking pinhole camera images from research stations uh, in the Arctic Circle. And they created these really mysterious, magical looking images uh, from really long, slow exposures over days. And you could see the celestial bodies just slowly crossing the, the images. We settled on a series and developed that for the album and vinyl.